Mm -hmm. Well, the Global Symposium for Regulators, or GSR as we call it for short, is the unique gathering of the regulators around the world once a year to discuss issues that are relevant to their agenda and uh, to exchange uh, experiences and views among them uh, about them. And uh, we have also added uh, recently a dialogue between the regulators and the industry leaders so that this uh, discussion would not be uh, done in a vacuum, so that we have also uh, all the players of the, uh, in the sector getting together and discussing the hot issues. So uh, this is the 13th edition of the GSR. So we started back in 2000. And uh, from them we have evolved uh, into a gathering of more than 130 regulators, this time in Warsaw. Uh, in Poland, uh, and uh, we've had also um, industry uh, presence, not only of the traditional industry players, but also of the new players or the game changers, as they have called, like uh, Facebook, uh, Google, um, Microsoft, uh, and uh, additional players that are not necessarily from the sector, like the banking and financial institutions that. Uh, we gathered into a financial debate that was of one of the highlights of this GSR in order for them to let us know also what their views are in, in terms of investing in the ICT area. Sure. Well, there are several. Uh, one of them is uh, the evolution of the regulatory frameworks. Uh, we are talking now about fourth generation regulation, which is the main topic of this year's GSR. So uh, we've had several waves of regulatory reform uh, um, frameworks, and uh, we are uh, now starting the fourth wave, if you want to call it that way, where regulators are uh, more and more looking into a way of not only deploying uh, the networks, and uh, ensuring competition uh, for the services as it was in the past, but now more focused on bringing the ICTs to all uh, in an inclusive manner and reaching the population that is uh, either not in urban areas or even if they are in urban areas but are marginalized from ICTs for one reason or another, like people with disabilities, like indigenous populations, like um, aging population. And uh, this kind of inclusiveness is more and more into the regulatory debate. This is one of the issues. Another issue is also the uh, convergence of the various uh, players in the, in the economy that are more and more using ICTs for, for their uh, activities. So ICTs is not anymore telecommunications, but it's also all the data and internet related uh, issues. So health, uh, education, agriculture, you name it, they are all part of the ICT environment. So uh, how do you do when you have several players of this type um, uh, playing in the same field, for instance, the banking system and the, and the operators that are working together towards digital transactions that we do every day over the internet? So who regulates those? The financial system, the telecom system, both, none. So this kind of discussion is, is very hot and uh, on the table. Also the broadcasting, uh, as you know, is one of the converged industries. So who regulates them? Uh, is the content uh, regulator? Is the telecom regulator? Uh, the transition from analog to digital broadcasting and implications for the society? All these topics have been hot in the agenda of this year's GSR. Well, the feeling of all players, not only regulators, but also the industry players and uh, all those that are coming into this dialogue because they are, they are somehow using the, the ICT infrastructure for their socioeconomic activity, is that uh, the ICTs are here uh, as a solution to this type of uh, problems. It's a contributor to the solution, not to the problem. And in particular, the youth uh, unemployment problem that uh, is uh, high in the agenda of all governments uh, there is a, an opportunity in the ICTs for them to be employed. ICT is generating lots of employment, uh, not only direct employment uh, in, the, in the ICT sector itself, but indirectly so, because as I said before, we use ICTs for everything. So 
in every, any other economic activity, there is an ICT component nowadays. So there is a huge potential for the youth, uh, for young people to get involved in the development and the deployment of these applications that are more and more in use in, uh, in everyday life. And it will be even more so in the future. Huh? More and more gadgets and, uh, and um, let's say, technology-related uh, applications are, are being issued every day. And they are going to be more and more used by everybody in the planet.